On tonight's edition of The Overtime, we start in Boise, Idaho, and break down how the NAU basketball programs are performing in the Big Sky Conference Tournament. Plus, we take a deep look into basketball on the reservation, and we check in with Flagstaff Baseball and what they are doing to compete at a high level in the Grand Canyon region. Last but not least, we start our brand new segment, Top 5 Plays of the Week, all that and more on this edition of The Overtime. Thank you for joining us and welcome to this edition of The Overtime, Northern Arizona's only sports show. I'm your host, Nadia Armenta, and joining me is sports reporter Ryan Freddy. Ryan, how are you doing? Doing great. Ready to get this roll on. And you're ready for sports? Always. Awesome. First topic of the night, we're talking NAU men's basketball. Now, they were seen in Boise, Idaho on Wednesday, and they played against Idaho State. Now, they lost in that game, and it was a one and done. What happened during that game for them? Well, NAU has struggled all year long against Idaho State. They just cannot come through against Idaho State. I mean, there's number six, number 11 for NAU. They're fighting all year long for a first round bye. They're even at number three overall in the Big Sky. They dropped down to number six, missed the first round bye, had to play number 11, Idaho State, which had their number all year, and they could not fall through. Exactly, and that game was just a representation of how this team has been playing the entire season. They had their ups, they've had their downs, and they were really just kind of scrapping to get that win against a team that should have been an easy win. Yeah, give props to Idaho State, though, for upsetting NEU for them. But any of this season, though, it's a very big win for NEU on their season as a whole. It's their first winning record in six years for the Lumberjacks. Finished off 16 and 14 overall, 10 and 10 in conference, so they're 500 there. So a very good season right there for NEU. I mean, another good note for NEU, three players come to mind for NEU Athletics, like the big side basketball team here for the Lumberjacks, is going to the top three players. Right, and now they have had, the season ended off really well, but having this just kind of gives them that security that they did really have a good season. Now we have Brooks the Bishop and then Cameron Shelton, as well as Bernie Andre in the honorable mention. Yeah, so Shelton and the Bishop earned their first career all Big Sky accolades by earning their first spot on the Big Sky third team for Brooks the Bishop and Cam Shelton. Shelton led NAU with 15 points a game. Brooks the Bishop third in the Big Sky with rebounds at eight per game. You gotta give a shout out to Bernie Andre, who was newcomer of the year last year and earned a spot as honorable mention this year for NAU, averaging 12 points a game and just under six rebounds a game, which is ninth in the Big Sky Conference. Right, and an interesting fact about that is the head coach, excuse me, assistant coach Galen Buranek, who also made an impact on this team, and he was seen kind of in the program, left a bit, came back, and now he's doing really huge things for this program. I spoke with assistant coach Galen Buranek on how he's impacted this team. Let's take a look. First time, coaching is an opportunity to get your point across with exaggerated yelling and a nice title to add a ring to it. But assistant coach Galen Buranek has always been more of an observer. And I knew once I took the job that I was going to have to, you know, really get out of my comfort zone and, and start speaking a little more and stuff like that. Um, I feel like I'm still pretty quiet for the most part. Interim head coach Shane Burkar says he's watched Buranek transform into a well-rounded coach. He's way different than he was in November than he is now in early March, and he talks more. And I, I think he's more in his comfort zone. And uh, what he says, he's kind of like the E.F. Hutton, where if he speaks, people are going to listen to him. He's not just talking to talk. In any sport, there is a specific culture that you want to create within a team. And Burkhar believes that having assistant coach Galen Buranek is a big step in the right direction. The most impressive thing about Coach G is his work ethic. His work ethic is he's always there with the guys. Um, he's here for the guys. One word that comes to mind when describing Buranek is dedicated. Dedicated to holding himself accountable, dedicated to the coaches, and most importantly, dedicated to the players. At the end of the day, you know, they realize that I'm going to be in here with them grinding no matter what time it is. You know, Cam Shelton, for example, last year was 5 a.m., 6 a.m., and he doesn't leave me alone. Now it's Bernie. The players seem to buy into Burenick's actions. He played for NAU for a couple of years and played professional basketball. Forward Bernie Andre says it's important for him to use his time with Burenick to gain as much as possible. He knows the game really well. He, he was a professional basketball player for a couple of years. So I just kind of pick his brain sometimes and stuff like that and get some pointers on what some things I could do better off and on the court. What Burenick might not know is how much his colleagues and players appreciate him. They say he's supportive and has bought into the idea of making this program better than it was when he was a lumberjack. You know, with Coach G, he has been that guy for me from 
day one. Him and I know the players better than anybody, especially early. Now it's a different deal being in March, but you're talking about June, the summer, and the fall. Coach G and I knew the players the most. Having someone who has been in the program for multiple years brings a sense of family. And Burenik is the one who is threading the years together. It's a short program. Now it's interesting to see the impact that Galen Burenik has made on this team. Moving on to NAU women's basketball, NAU was actually also seen in the Big Sky Conference Tournament on Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday they played against Montana Grizzlies and won, and then they transitioned from Tuesday winning to Wednesday, suffering a loss to Montana. Yeah, so Montana State was number one in the Big Sky all year long. They only have one conference loss, a very tough team from Montana State up there north. I mean, it was huge for us to beat Montana, right? We come in, beat them, then go into Montana State's game. We were 0-2 against them all season long, but Montana State kind of were, were close and close that entire game for NAU and them. Mm -hmm. Bradford had a game high 21 points for both teams for NAU. She shot three of four beyond the arc, and heck, NAU as a team shot 42% from three. All that good stuff going on, but they still lose. Why is that? They had 20 turnovers. Montana State also capitalized on that, had 22 points off the turnovers there for NAU. Right, and that was a huge thing that head coach Lori Payne was trying to capitalize on this season is minimizing the turnovers. And in this time, that's exactly when they needed to put that into play during this game, and it just didn't work out for them. Something that did work out for them was the Big Sky All-Conference team. Now, this has been definitely an uplift for this team because they've come a long way, and they weren't seen on this side of the spectrum in a long time. Yeah, it's a bounce back year here for Annie. You're taking a look here at the all Big Sky Conference teams here. Of course, Karika Rishi is going to be on their first team. She led the Big Sky in points with almost 19 points a game and eight rebounds a game, which was third in the Big Sky there for Kyrika Rashid. JC Bailey was one of our hot hands all season long as well for NAU. Was fourth in Big Sky, shooting around 89% from three-point land and it was averaging almost 15 points a game as well for the Lumberjacks. Now, Caitlin Malvar, also an honorable mention there for the Lumberjacks. She was fifth in the Big Sky this season with around five assists per game. And also give props to the Big Sky Newcomer of the Year, Nina Radford, the transfer from UC Santa Barbara here for NAU. Had a, obviously the season high against Montana State on Wednesday with 21 points. But she's going to have a bright future ahead of herself. Right, and something I do want to just touch on a little bit is they didn't get to finish the Big Sky Tournament, although the NAU teams didn't end up moving on the tournament got completely canceled by the coronavirus in which not only affected the Big Sky Tournament, but big picture things such as NCAA, the NBA. That's just kind of taking over the sports world right now. Yeah, March Madness would be usual, you know, madness with all the basketball going on. Right now, depressing times, we're in March sadness, folks. Right, and coming up after the break, we will be taking a look at Ryan's inside scoop to Res Ball and Flagstaff baseball team. Stay tuned after the break. <laughs> 